um, there was also people that I encountered that just did not leave for God's love at all. Oh yes, I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you doing your job, you doing nigga behind the door. You doing it. Oh, 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 That's where you 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 got to pull that out. I crave intimacy. Watch your love all over me. editing this video in real time these are just a bunch of clips together like from different days so i don't really have like a proper intro it starts off with me in the studio with my dad he is y'all gonna see everybody who keep asking me when is the music coming out where's the ep exhibit a this is why the song we were working on is basically about like getting to that rocky stage in a relationship where like nothing is the same anymore and like the person start acting different but the way that i had to edit it i don't want to put too much of the song out yet because it's coming soon okay so yeah enjoy how the fuck we get here you know what i'm saying like damn nigga you don't even answer your phone no more you inconsistent bring all that out you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that you could connect with the record yeah the, the people you know what I'm saying? I like that. You I don't, don't answer your phone no it. more. What I gotta do? How do we get here? You know, the, like, fuck! You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> got to, you got to, you got to. Drama. It, 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 that's exactly what you need. Drama. This shit ain't got no drama. So if you bring the drama, you bring it forth. Hey, it ain't no happy people in this world, man. I'm telling you, man. I don't give a fuck how much they decorate it and they color it. You got more people that's unhappy than they are happy. So when you sing to the unhappy, you get a bigger audience. Ask Mary. When she starts singing happy songs, nobody liked the shit. The bitch got her feelings hurt. Everybody love Mary again. Okay? She, Cause she gonna sing pain. So you gotta put that into your fucking record. So even if it's talking, you don't even answer your phone no more. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is this nigga that you just sung about the nigga? Now you gotta pinpoint, hit them all on the pinpoints. You know what I'm saying? Cause you acting different like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so now you into the point like, okay, what the fuck is going on? Like I said, how did we get here? Mm -hmm. You don't answer your phone. When the last time I seen you, and all that type of shit. The shit y'all nag niggas about, put that right there. Cause every girl doing it. Right now, motherfucker in the house, gonna say the same shit. You always outside. He never come talk to me. We don't spend time. I, I, all of that needs to be on the record. <laughs> it's real. I'm not gonna be fake, man. I, man, hey, I'm not gonna be fake. I'm closer to my death date than my birth date. So I'm gonna keep it one million till I'm out of this bitch. Fuck it. And then people will respect me more. I didn't front. Okay. Come all on. Right. I could do it better, but I like yeah. The, I like the, the, yeah. This, it's cool. It's it's straight. It, it's getting around to where I'm where I needed to get to. <laughs> nope. Tell that nigga you don't even pick up your phone no more. Okay. Yeah. Don't beg the nigga to pick up. Fuck that nigga. This nigga, <laughs> I can different fuck cuz. Okay. I'm getting hot right now. Shit, I might been beat this nigga. Up. <laughs> you are the nigga. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Shit, I like him even more now. <laughs> so I don't like this though. Still. The why part. I, I ain't sold on it. And I know you can do this better too. Though I ain't gonna even front. It's cool. It's straight. I'm gonna redo it. Yeah, it's straight. Don't get me wrong. I, I, feel the, I feel the emotion in it. So it's really great. But I know it could be greater. Okay. Here we go. You want some... Now you getting gangster, nigga. You snapping your neck. You talking that shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Same. Same. You know what I'm saying? Think of something outside your outside your comfort zone, outside the box. Uh, just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Even when you fuck up, keep rolling just so that you can get into the groove of it, though. Let me hear it. The last words, like I said, you got to connect. So connecting is, you don't even answer your phone no more. Mm -hmm. Nigga, all that, all that shit you talking about, nigga, you can't call me, but you on the ground. Shit like that motherfuckers resonate to. So that have to that pain, that whole th theory have to be put into this end piece in order to make for us to sell the record. Okay. 
Oh, it's under the you know what I'm saying? You you doing your you know, you know, nigga by the door? You know, what did he say? Oh. And then you hit him with the nigga. You don't even answer your phone no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that, that type of shit. Here we go. And it ain't gotta be sequence. Go, go think of go hit pockets that's unorthodox. It don't have to be. Hey, and I said what I said. Do, do, do. Don't have to be that. You know what I'm saying? Go all them, hit all the motherfucking pockets. Get all the motherfucking get the spaces that ain't even. You know what I mean? So that it ain't so repetitive. Mm -hmm. So cold. That's a different pocket. That threw me off the guard. Okay. Now we know something else coming right here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you don't want to every day. You gotta hit them pockets. You gotta Kendrick Lamar this motherfucker. God damn this nigga Kiki. Like, you know what you and your girls listen to. So if your music don't project that, you're robbing you and your girls. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to be able to turn that on and go somewhere. Turn the television. Turn the television one off. Oh, oh. And I cry. I cry. I, 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 I. Oh, 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 oh. Nigga, they don't, they like that because that nigga's saying shit. That the average nigga ain't going to... Nigga, I cried. This girl I is, cried. Nigga, every auntie in America, when that motherfucker part come on, Lenny will, oh, 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 That's where you, you, you got to pull that out, or else your record is going to suffer. If you don't go all the way in on that, it just to be regular. But you tear that motherfucker up, that's like on that level of Lenny Williams. Big, 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 big. All that shit. That's on that. That's on that level. But if you don't bring it there, then it won't be. It just be a, a nice little song that you could have sold to somebody with soul. Mm -hmm. That's gonna tear that motherfucker down. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but your your album is deserving of that. So you gotta pull emotions out your ass. That's only. That's the only way you're gonna be able to like, like damn. And that's the last record too. That motherfucker got to be stupid. So I'm feeling this. But like I always tell you, I think more or less, it'll become more natural sounding. Once I keep listening. Yeah. yeah and you, I just recorded. Yeah. And it, oh, oh, oh. You said we wasn't putting no leads on You don't have to. But what I'm saying is, you, you, it, it, it's a feeling. You did a great job. Thank but it's about, you know what I'm saying? The more and more we together... The more and more we recording, the more and more, then you it 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 just become second nature. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to put your spin on that hoe. You know what I mean? Like what make Kendrick special is I mean he's saying every, the same things everybody else saying. It's not what he said. It's how. It's he how said. he said it. Mm -hmm. And that's all you take. To, you bring all that shit into your shit. And then I think, you know, you, I'm, like I said, this, 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 this record is dope. It, and it's getting better and better and as we work at it. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to pull that umph out of your motherfucking ass. Let's put parts. Let's add talking parts. Okay. To this shit. So all I need you to do is talk with Terry. So here we go. As soon as he say hello, you got to take flight. Let's do that over again. Cause I don't know why I got that shit on it. I not that's I I did that by accident. That was from all me. Here we go. That's dope. I fuck with that. Cool. I like that. Gangsta shit. Let me hear that. That's hard. That's gangsta. <laughs> Nigga, gangsta shit. That's that hard. I like that. That's, that's believable. <laughs> yeah. That's believable. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what we gotta keep doing. We gotta stay tapped in. We gotta stay tapped in. That's the only way this shit gonna work. Is everything everything on there? What? On that. So now we just gotta do the the leads, really. Everything yeah. else is great. Yep. So, Let me bounce it real quick so that you can live with what you did. Even if you gotta go study some motherfuckers, then that's what you have to do. Just to see how, you know what I'm saying, where they at in their pocket. What made this song special? What made me like this song? What made my mama like that record? What made my grandma Nanda like this record? What made you know what I'm saying? Even if, even if you gotta go to church. Church music, the same shit. They not they up there singing off a pure feeling. Mm -hmm. It's the words. But if Sonya got up there, we know 
she can make a whole church cry. Yeah. She can make a motherfucker shout. That's because she's going to go up there and sing with her emotions. The emotionless singer don't get the same response as that old lady. Glad to be in Oh, yes, I'm glad. Oh, yes, I'm glad. That, 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 you like, she, she going to sing that every time we go somewhere. <laughs> when we go to, to another service, we make a show Ethel. Get her big ass on that mic, and she going to lead this record. Because she going to, oh, yes, I'm glad. She going to give you all that. And that's what your choir director looking for. That's what your music is looking for. So that's what you have to project. Correct. It got to be that. Because you know what make you feel like, damn, she went in. Nigga, watch a merry performance of a concert and be like, whoa, because she can't sing at all. But nigga, she be having the whole stadium. Don't let her. What? By the time she get there, nigga, every girl in the in the house is looking at their boyfriend. They want to beat their nigga ass. Yeah, that motherfucker not gonna cry and shit. Oh, when she, oh, nigga, can't sing a lick. But that motherfucker, boy, she bulls out baby motion, and she fake cry on stage the whole nine. No, she bullshitting. But for that twenty million, I'm fit to get. I'm fit to cry like a motherfucker. She get on her knees, she be putting her hands in her head, and bitch be in the <laughs> Bitch, she just did this in 50 other states. And you believe it now, motherfucker? <laughs> bitch, we, we can watch the, the same show <laughs> in Michigan. And she just did that last night in Michigan. She come in with the same shit, and y'all think this whole crime. But, nigga, that bitch fills up a stadium. Nigga, I mean, a, a stadium. No, you just gotta draw from pain. Hey, it's a it's a it's a cold part, but nigga, you're respected and you thank God that you went there, because it turns you into something. It it, it molds you into something. That motherfucker on? Hell no, it's chilly as a mother. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, who just called me? How you feel about it? Separately, like on a different track. Okay, but everything else you like? Uh, yes. Hey y'all, it's a new day. I am so tired. Let me just preface by saying it's Saturday, and I have to go to work. Um, it's gonna be a fun event though, so that's why I'm like, cool, we're going, but I am tired, I would love to be in my bed, it's supposed to rain today, but, you know, do because I even on the date last night, and so while I get ready for this event, and tell y'all what the event is about, I'm tell y'all about my day too, so first of all, first off, the event is a Black Excellence Brunch, the last one we did was for Wakanda Forever, which made, like, so much sense to me, but this one that we're doing today is for Shazam, and I think the only reason it's happening is because Megan Good is in the movie, and Megan Good will be there today, and they're giving her, like, an award and all this stuff, so it should be cool, and it's not long, because it's a brunch, I have to be there at 10.30, um, and it ends at 3 o'clock, so that's not too bad, but, uh, we have to wear all white. That's the one thing I don't like about that. I do not wear all white. I'm just, I just don't have to be really hard for me to put together. I need to go get some white pants, specifically for this, but since I don't have none today, uh, I might just have to wear a dress, which angers me because it's raining, like, y'all don't get me sick. And, like, I have to wear, I'm gonna wear, my outfit is not gonna be cute, I'm gonna just say that, because I'm not in sick for nobody. That's what's getting me, that I'm up early on Saturday and that I gotta wear all white in the rain. But, whatever, let's get into this thing. The person that I went with, I've been knowing him for a minute, like, um, I've been knowing him since I was a kid, like, since I was probably in like seventh grade. And, I never really like looked at him like as a person I would date and it was mutual on his end. They'll always be like him messaging me on Instagram and like I wouldn't take it seriously and I don't think he was like serious either. He was just like trying to flirt or whatever. This is how I feel with all guys. If you're gonna do all that talking, I'm not about to just be on the phone and be texting you all day like either but we don't make up or we not. And so last week he messaged me or well, he texted me and he was like I would love to take you out or whatever like we, we should get together. Like every day I'll be like we can closer and closer to the day. I was excited a little bit. It started raining and like I said when it's raining I like to be in the house. So at first I was thinking we wasn't gonna go because like black people don't do well in the rain, especially in LA. We be acting like it's a national disaster, like when it's raining. So I didn't think we was gonna go. I was tired of this job be working me to death. I was I worked yesterday. And so um I just didn't think we was gonna go, but he was still down. This place that I had picked, um, it was a rooftop bar. And it's no inside. So I was like, well, if we still go, like we can't go there anymore because it's raining and um, it's all outdoors. So we have to end up in a place, another place last minute. And it was cool. I got there before him. And so like when the waiter sat me, the waitress sat me down, she sat me like in the booth facing the door. And so when he got there, he's like, uh, uh-uh, first things first, like, we need to switch seats. And, like, I understood that because guys like to sit, well, gentlemen are supposed to sit facing the door. That way, like, if something happens, they're the first to, like, catch it or whatever. But, um, that was really nice. And, um, it was cool. Like, they come around, the restaurant that we went to, they come around taking pictures of you, and then you can buy them. And so the lady, when she came to take our picture, she was like, are y'all two a couple? And he was like, yep. And then she, um, because we were sitting across from each other, so she was like, ma'am, can you get up and sit next to him for the picture? So I went and sat next to him. She's like, can you put your arm around her and give her a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> and y'all, that picture came out so cute. I'm gonna show y'all, but I don't wanna put it out there. But um, it was really cute. It was like we happened together. I told him we were like together for like seven years on that picture. And he was like, yeah, that's just because we had a natural chemistry. But it was cool. We had a good time. And I'm sure we'll be going out again. So I know I sound like real dry. It's because I'm so tired. I just have plans with my friend today. I'm gonna insert the clip. We had went to this um this restaurant. It was super cute. It was in Glendale. Like it's all outdoors, but it's really, really cute. It's like backyard vibes. So last time we went, you know, I got to have a drink. So last time we went, the lady that was serving us was like, we didn't have a bar today. We're not serving drinks today. 
and we believed her because it was like, okay, if you say you ain't serving drinks, I guess you ain't serving drinks. Like you work here, whoever's question that, right? So we ended up leaving, going to like a little bar down the street, and then coming back because we wanted to drink. That's the whole reason we went out. So once we got back, we just ate there. It was cool. Like it was really good actually. So my friend had posted about it on her story. This girl that she is friends with was like, oh, I just went up there like yesterday. She was like, the drinks was bomb. Like, what? And she was like, my friend was like, oh, they told us they wasn't like um, operating their bar. And she was like, no, I was literally just up there and like I had um, two drinks. I said, oh, interesting. So Kianda, my friend, um, she ended up going on Yelp. And she gave him a review, like, yeah, everything was cool, but apparently, like, they re they refused to serve us drinks or whatever, like, they just refused to serve us drinks. It's really a hookah place, but I don't do hookah, and I don't think my friend did either. I thought she did, but she don't. So, um, she was like, yeah, they just refused to serve us drinks or whatever, whatever. And so the owner had messaged her, and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, like, I'm gonna give you a $100 credit toward your next visit or whatever. And, um, I was like, so that means we need to go back and use the $100 credit and run it up. And so she was like, yeah, we should go on Saturday, which will be today. And it would have worked out because I get off at 3 o'clock, so. We were supposed to go, but since it's going to be raining and it's all outdoors, we're not going to go today. Um, but the place is really, really cute. I can't wait to go back when they're done. It's going to be great. Okay, so I'm done getting ready. My neck is like that because I just put on perfume, but I'm done getting ready. I do not have on all white. I have on jeans, but let me show y'all. I have on jeans and these because I'm not trying to wear my feet out. It's cold and it's raining. So... I have to load like a whole bunch of boxes into my car. I changed my makeup routine a little bit. I'm like really liking it. And yeah, I got some new hair, y'all. It's kind of long. It's supposed to be curled, but the curls fail, obviously. The weather just did not permit my curls, but yeah, this is new. All new, everything. It's 9.30. I was supposed to be leaving at 9.30 on the dot. You know, I always gotta listen to Encounter. I'm so excited because I'm going to see him. <laughs> next week, next week. But I have to put all this stuff in my car. Let me show y'all. They just be sending all this stuff to my house. I have another box too, and it's really, really big. I don't know who is gonna put that in here, but.
super free, just embracing this season, the inspiration of being. I don't know what's next, but I'm excited about all of it. And it's crazy, because even getting older, it's like, it's really cool. Yeah. It's really kind of amazing. Like, as an actor, all these different things come out that you didn't even have access to before. Mm -hmm. You know, but they're all a part of you, they're all part of your experiences. So, um, yeah, for me, it was, it was never unlearning. It was, it has been rediscovering what that is in this particular season. I'm going to do it.